For me as a biologist, doing research is my passion and I think it's an honor for me. However, doing biological research is not always easy. There are many ways that biologists implement to do research. Most commonly, we use in vitro research, where we use cells. Yes, that's right, the live human cells. Most of the researchers do that, at least that's what I do. The theory is very simple. Since cells represent the building block of an organism, any research that brings anticipated changes to the cell should bring the desired changes to the organism. Uh, in this video, I will show how to detect the contamination. So this morning, I checked my cells, which are growing in this incubator since a long time. So I noticed some contamination and I will show you um, how to detect them. So let's go. You may know that our bodies are made up of cells. How many? Well, there is no accurate number because it depends upon age, sex and body mass of the person. However, on average, a human body consists of 40 trillion cells. That's 40 trillion with a T. Those cells die and are created every day. In cell culture, we take the cell from humans and grow them inside the lab to do our research. This whole phenomenon of doing research inside the lab is called in vitro research. In vitro means inside the lab. I was growing cell in vitro and found some kind of contamination, probably bacterial. But how did I know there is a bacterial contamination? If you see, it's yellow, which is not the nature, normal color. Because this media, media means basically something that, that, that the cells grow upon, has a compound called phenol red. And when there is a lot of metabolism going on on the cells, the color of the media changes to yellow. That means that the media has been used, depleted very quickly. Also you can see that the, the medium is much cloudy. It's yellow and it's cloudy. And the cloudy is because there is a population of bacteria. So basically what happens is that when there is a lot of microbial contamination like bacteria and bacteria goes much much faster than the human cells so they use all the media and decrease the pH of the media and in the media there is a substance that is called phenol red and this phenol red changes from red to yellow when the pH decreases so when the media becomes yellow very quickly like in one day we assume that there is some kind of contamination so when the medium is cloudy and yellow it's safe to assume that there is a contamination however for confirmation we have to look under the microscope the microscope i use to look at my cell is a face contrast microscope and it is quite good to look at the cell because you can um, manipulate the face and look at the different magnification of course you you have to know the instrumentation of the microscopy and how the light works and how different faces affect your object in which you are looking apart from looking through the face contrast microscopy this microscope that I use also has fluorescence capability that means that I can bind my cells with any fluorescence antibody and then I can watch those fluorescence signals on the computer monitor or even through the eyepiece so here we go I have just ad adjusted um, for my by looking through the eye which is much easier than looking at the computer screen <clears throat> so now let's look under the microscope how they are how they're gonna look
and then we are going live so basically this camera you can see through the eyepieces and it's m much easier for me to, to adjust through the eyepieces than through the screen but whatever it takes whatever you can see through the eyepieces it can be projected through this camera to the computer screen and then it looks much bigger and you basically it's to take photos so let me make it a bit brighter yeah perfect yeah so as you can we can see there are a lot of cells these all are population of the cells which are a lot but if you notice there are little dot like structure these dots so of course this is 5x a 5x magnification we cannot see anything on 5x but when i move to 10x the cells become a bit bigger and the dots are you can see that they are moving now i will go to 20x add just a little bit right so in this phase uh, you can see the dots are moving but, but we can make it more much better by just um, playing with the lights so this is fast contrast microscope and I can I can I can manage how much light can basically go to through the object so now I put on phase 2 just a little bit of adjustment because the magnification too high so phase one will not be good in this situation so I will just try to make it look better so you can see you can even see the cells with, with, with their nucleus and fortunately I can see that the, the bacteria didn't infected the cells from inside they are above the cells or on the medium but not on the inside so you can see this can you see these thoughts these are all bacteria they are moving now I will go to all 40x magnification just a bit adjustment now you can see all these little things are all bacteria it looks like there are some particles floating on the media but no and this is giving the cloudy nature the cloudiness of on the on the medium and even if you can see they some of them are dividing which is fascinating fascinating to see for example it's very difficult to focus because they're really tiny tiny look these are two joints they, they look like okay this one this little guy will divide soon because they are having their cell division they are basically two one bacteria snipped in in half going to snip into half and make two bacteria so one bacterium to two bacteria and they are all taking the food which I was giving to the cells but look how tiny the, those bacteria are compared to cells just for a yeah just for a perspective so if you can see this all because these cells are very dense so um it's there are two layers of cells which are basically which makes it basically um difficult to see but i can no phase two is the best so you can see look these all this is one cell so these are very big and one cell in various shapes and now if we go towards the bacterial where there is no cells which will be much which will make it much easier to see just 
yeah so these are minute particles and it looks like a brownian movement but no because brownian movement follows a pattern but these are looks like a round shaped you know bacteria in my opinion they they could be cocky which are round shaped bacteria they are not rod shaped or any other shaped filamentous shape but they for me look like round shape of course they are dividing so many of them like like if i can point out this guy they are dividing rapidly dividing since this video is all about human cells and bacteria, I have an interesting fact. Our body has equal number of bacteria as the number of cells. Yeah, that's true. That means that there is one bacteria inside our body for each cell. I have already told that there are 40 trillion cells inside our body. But don't be surprised. There are also 40 trillion bacteria on our body in average. Now you may be thinking, hey Pravin, why did you have the contamination at the first place? You were not careful? The thing is that the cells that I was growing were stem cells. And the problem with stem cells is that I cannot use antibiotic like any other kind of cells. So these cells grow without antibiotic. And when there is no antibiotic, even a just a, a little amount of bacteria will be dangerous and will will damage all your culture but since other kind of cells grow on, on the antibiotics so that's not a big problem now since my job was finished and I was supposed to throw this plate anyway so the last thing I have to do is that decontaminate the plate for decontamination I put the dish on the sink and soak with sufficient amount of bleach I let the dish stay at the sink for one hour and after one hour I throw everything at the sink and uh, empty this on the garbage bin and with this video you have understood how to observe bacterial contamination how to see it under microscope and how to decontaminate the contaminated dish I hope you enjoyed the video I will see you around